Good morning. It is Sunday morning, April 3rd. Today, I want to read something to you from my daily word. This is part of my rituals that I do each day. Inner peace. That's what this one is for today. I think peace. I feel peace. I am peace. Peace lives in my heart at the place within me where all appearances of separation dissolve. I feel only peace, only God, only oneness. This peace is always mine, part of my divine inheritance. I carry it with me through every experience, every moment of the day. Nothing can destroy or even disturb my peace when I invite the divine presence, the Christ of my being, to be my constant guide. A passing thought of fear, worry, or anger is a reminder to breathe, to release negative energy, to embrace peace. I feel renewed when I meditate, enjoy a walk in a peaceful garden, or take a moment to appreciate natural beauty wherever I find it. My indwelling peace manifests all around me as beauty, harmony, and bliss. And the scripture for today, may the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. And that's coming out of Psalms 29, 11. And for those of you on here, I don't care what your belief is. And I hear some beautiful birds chirping. Isn't that sweet? That's why I love the spring and summer. <laughs> Psalms is a great book to read out of the Bible. Um, my mom had me learn Psalms as a little girl. Um, Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So that is my go-to. I know that one by heart. But if you're feeling defeated, depleted, you feel like something's trying to disturb your peace or attack you, Read the book of Psalms 37, Fret Not Thyselves for Evildoers. And if you really want to be helped, go to Psalms 91 and read the whole thing. Read it every day if you're in a place of non-peace and, you know, like something's trying to attack you. What is this inner peace? Everybody don't have it. There are some people, you can be in a love relationship with someone and they're so used to drama and dysfunctionalism, everything can be rolling great and they'll find a way to disrupt the relationship. That's because they probably grew up in an environment of non-peace and they're used to drama and dysfunctionalism. So if it's calm, they're going to figure out a way to disrupt the relationship. Have you been at work and you just Know that this co-worker is just negative, messy. Um, that's what you encounter a lot at work. And unfortunately, people encounter a lot of drama in the home. At work, I used to play possum when I was in my 20s and 30s. I would be sitting at my desk or my cubicle and I would just act so quiet. I can be quiet when I want to be, but um, I'm a mixture, extra, extrovert, introvert. But I would play super quiet because I didn't want to be bothered with none of the drama. By the time, well, I started working at like 18 in the office. But by the time I was in my 20s and 30s, I figured out a lot of people at work bring that drama. So I didn't want no parts of it. And I just had to protect my peace. Peace for me is invaluable. I love where I live. It's nice and quiet. My home is peaceful. And I value this. It keeps me calm. I can think. I can create in this space because it's peaceful. What about you? Are you in a peaceful place? Is your home, you know, nice and quiet and calm? Or maybe, you know, if you have kids or, or husband or whatever, it's probably not as quiet as mine. But I hope it's a space of love, a space where you can go into your home and, and smile and sit at your table, and have a cup of tea, coffee, watch your favorite programs or do your, you know, you might be an arts and craft type of person where you paint or you may be a cook 
or whatever it is that makes you happy. I hope you have that peace at home. And if you don't, try to maybe set up a, a place where you can, you know, pray and meditate or just make a space in your house your own where you can, you know, center yourself and find some peace. Um, when you have peace of mind, it can keep your blood pressure down. That's for sure. It can keep anxiety down and keep that stress away. For we know that stress can ultimately, you know, bring bad things to us, even, you know, take our life. So peace is invaluable. And believe it or not, everybody don't have it. And some people don't even know how to get to it. So if you do have peace today, consider yourself very blessed and just keep being the light of the world. This world needs you and I, the peaceful ones, to continue to shine love upon this world. We are overindulged and doused with negativity that the positive stuff is not talked about a lot. That's where you and I come in. We'll be the light and shine bright like a diamond, like Rihanna said. And, you know, shine our love and light upon darkness. Darkness will never win because love is much more powerful. And I hope that something I said today helped you. Have yourself a beautiful day wherever you are. It's a beautiful Sunday here in the Chicagoland area. It looks like it's sunny. I always forget to look out the window when I'm talking to you all. It is sunny. It's pretty. And I'm grateful to be alive. Tammy Sharice Walker, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Thank you, new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. Thank you, Simplistic Motivation, for always sharing my videos and for Hustler, for his continue support as well as Miss Sandra. Bye-bye.